Hey, what's up guys? It's Jay from RealHooking.com. We are off the dock and out of the kayak today. We are going to go try another fishing spot, but at first I'm going to the cheapest place that you can get fish and tackle, and that is Walmart. So this new fishing spot, it is on a dock uh, near a boat ramp in Hilton Head. We'll check it out and uh, have a good old time. Just left Walmart, got some stuff over there, stopped by the gas station, got some ice and some drinks, and we're on our way to go to the boat launch over on Hilton Head, and uh, maybe talk to some of the guys that fish down there that I see all the time as I'm going over there, and uh, let's see what kind of fish they're, they're catching, if anything, because who knows, because it is right by a boat launch, so... Uh, hopefully we'll hook it hook into some uh, some reds maybe some sea bass I uh, don't know how deep the water is but it is deeper than my creek that's for sure so anyways we'll see you there All right, guys we made it so we're gonna walk on down the dock here in just a second maybe talk to some of the guys that are fishing and see what kind of catch is out there but Camera, how many feel recording? Yeah, from my, my channel. Oh. What kind of channel? YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. This is my first time down here. I haven't uh, fished this spot before, so I don't know what kind of fishing down there. Oh, yeah, you got a shark. What about uh, like whiting or red? Got a club or something, you grab something. So you grab most, most of the more chunks. Okay. Probably stingray too, right? Yeah, stingray. The chunks too big. Yeah, oh show you the uh, the whole view that we got and there's nobody on this dock but uh, on the other dock I talked to a guy who said there's a lot of shark out here and everything so I'm gonna go off the end of this pier kind of sitting in the shade this pylon right here but here's the view I'd like to get up in that grass maybe I'll bring my kayak out here one day go up it up in there but for right now we're going out in the deep waters let's see what we can get I just threw out my first cast feels like there's something nibbling on it it's pretty deep out there though
think I'm gonna go inshore a little bit over there in the shallower water and see what happens. We'll check it out. Turn it off for now. So far, no good. You guys ever catch anything out here? Really? How about you? Yeah, mine too. I usually kayak fish and uh, you know where Cherry Point is? Um, it's on the way to Beaufort. Oh yeah. Small creeks back there. And uh, I got a little YouTube channel. I wanted to try this place out. Today's my first day too. Talk to those guys down on the other side. They got a, a shark. Here? Yeah. He showed it to me. It's a little baby shark. But... Yeah. We usually just fish on the beach. Yeah. On the beach. Actually, the guy at... Um... Maybe it's the Hardyville Walmart. One of the Walmarts, I don't know. And he said he lives in Bluffton, I think. Yeah. And uh, he was telling us to get like eight miles down past the, the Broad River Bridge. There's some kind of place over there. It's good. Lemon Island? Maybe. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. He said he only sees it from boat. It's eight miles on boat. He said he didn't know how far it was on the. Oh. On the. Uh, not oh god I got gotcha. you something about a burnout bridge um I know there's a bunch of uh, rocky areas out yeah. there and he's, that's uh he says it's pretty good and uh, that's out towards Paris Island you almost get to the ocean and that's it's pretty good fishing out there I've yeah. done that before but uh that's when I actually had a real boat but now I just got a kayak <laughs> so now I wanted to check this place out and there's one other place that I want to check out today on the island it's off of um, Matthews Drive it's just a, a little it's not a dock but it's like a it's where people can ride their bikes and walk okay. to get off the road okay. and the river runs right underneath it and everything like that and I talked to one of the locals about that place last week and he said uh, redfish run through there all the time really? so I just wanted to see what was yeah, out we were here. all over Matthews Drive we didn't know about that though yeah if you're on or not Matthews I'm sorry not Matthews uh, Marshland if you Matthews is a little bit further okay. down, Marshland Drive is um, if you're going into Hilton Head right before you hit, right before you get onto the Cross Island, right. it's actually that that right right there. Okay. And if you go down there, it's like less than a mile. You'll see it. It, it looks there like a dot. Signs say like Spanish Wells and all that. Maybe. Spanish Wells. Wells. Yeah. Yeah. Spanish Wells. Yeah. yeah. We're just on our way out, and we we're like, oh, let's go down there and check that out. You guys from around here? Tennessee. Tennessee? On vacation? Yeah. I got you. We had to go to Savannah for a beta club going. Uh, did you catch anything on the beach? Just a little hammerhead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all he's got over there. Not even. It not was even, like tiny. Well, not even two feet long. No, our front neither. Well, we were just at like Polly Field. We were just staying right there at Polly Field. And then um, we just went to. Uh, Mitchellville. Mitchellville. Park. Or it's on beach. It's, I guess it's a beach park. Whatever. It's like back in there. I, I know where Folly Field and. Uh... Yeah, this out I think is back. Okay. Well, usually he fishes at Sea Pines on South Beach. Yeah. Which is, I just realized after I was looking at the map, it's kind of like a sound water right yeah. there where he usually catches a lot of stuff. It's not. Yeah, that's good. where the that's where the big sharks are out there. If you're out there. Um, cause right in between Sea Pines and Defusky, that's the island, or that's the uh, ocean passageway. So, I mean, if you're right in the middle of it, you can probably catch a five foot yeah. shark. Yeah, they, his family usually goes down here and they, they do pretty good, but. But I just wanted to try this place. I didn't think I'd get any luck cause it is a boat launch and too yeah. many, the, um, too the much action. The place we just going. came from, that Mitchellville or whatever. Uh huh. It's, it's got a lot, like, just looks in common with, uh, we were just over there during the day, but, um, with the South Beach and Sea Pines, so I bet you, and you can fish all day over there, and, and like, it drops off like Sea Pines does over at South Beach, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Where those crabs are running, of course they're at night, but we didn't see that at night, we just saw it during the day, but during the day it looks the same. Right. 
Yeah. I bet you if you get closer to the ocean, where the ocean meets the sound, we were just kind of like yeah. off it a little bit. Now, I'm, I'm wanting to check it out because I'm going to bring my kayak and, and kind of fish going all the way around. Yeah. These little flats here, that's where a lot of the um, trout and redfish go. And, you know, they're not really deep water. I mean, I guess you could get them in deep water, but they're usually hiding up in the weeds somewhere. But, I don't know. All right.
sure you hold it to the camera the bigger it helps. All right. <laughs> now the uh, yeah, you're not supposed to keep sharp. I think unless they're like three feet around here. I think so. You keep it sharp like this. Alright guys, well this place wasn't all that good. I think I spent more time than I needed to. The first couple of people that I ran into acted like they didn't speak any English until they found out that I had a camera. And then he asked me about it. But uh, then I met this uh, really nice couple. and uh, I was using Brian shrimp, that's all I could find. And uh, they offered to give me a couple of pieces of squid. And that's when I caught that shark, but yeah, I spent probably the good part about two hours, and it was probably about an hour and 30 minutes before I caught that shark, and that was the only thing I caught, so I wouldn't mind coming out here with my kayak and, and uh, fishing the flats and everything. I was, I was spotting some good areas. This is a little island that you can just kind of paddle around, but out in the deep, deep water, there's nothing but shark here. Definitely need a bigger pole for out here because uh, that shark that I caught was maybe a foot and a half, and he put up a pretty good fight on that on that medium light rod that I got. So, but uh, we'll try somewhere else uh, maybe tomorrow. Uh, the weather's not looking too good, that's why I'm getting out of here. And then I'm going home. So, until next time, this is Jay from RealHooking.com. Peace.